So hi everyone, today we are going to be looking at GitHub Copilot and how it can help you in your daily development workflow. Before we get started, let me introduce myself. I'm Fabien, Senior Product Manager on GitHub Copilot. So let's start right away to set up Copilot uh, by going to github.com slash feature slash Copilot, where you can register for a free trial of up to 60 days. And then once you are registered, you can access Copilot by installing the extension on the IDE of your choice. So today we are supporting VS Code, VS Studio, and JetBrains IDEs. Uh, you can get it by simply looking for Copilot in the marketplace. Uh, and this is this one for VS Code. So let's start by creating a simple, uh, simple script in, in JavaScript. So one of the best way for me to use Copilot is for simple pattern completion when you need to create an array of repetitive uh, words or, or code. Copilot comes in very, very useful. So let's create an empty JavaScript quickly uh, to demonstrate what I'm talking about. So let's say you want to create an array of months. Uh, Copilot is picking up from the name of the of the variable that you want to create an array of months. And you can see here, it just correctly repeated the, the months. Um, so we can accept this by pressing tab, or we can say, actually, that's not exactly what I want. I want January, the full name of the months. And here, Copilot is, again, picking up that pattern and repeating it. So it, it's, it's a small time saver, which is quite useful. Uh, another way that also pattern can be repeated easily with Copilot is let's say you want to return a specific data from a data model that you, you implemented. Uh, let's say you want to return the name from your model dot get name. And the next information you want to return might be the height uh, that is contained in that model. Then as you can see Copilot here is picking up that, that access pattern that you defined just before. Uh, and here we can see the toolbar of Copilot showing up. Uh, in that case, we have we don't have any new suggestion. We have only this one, so we don't. That's why the next and previous buttons are grayed out. So, okay, so that, that's for some easy use cases. But now let's try to implement something a bit different. Uh, Copilot has been very helpful also for discovery and. I am not proficient in, in Ruby development. However, I can still write some code uh, using Copilot that helped me to, to, to find my way, way around fairly easily. So let's say we want to implement a simple function that will publish the weather on Twitter. So let's start by importing the, the required module. So we will need um, Ruby gem, I think. Oops, Ruby gem. Uh, we will need Twitter. And we will need YAML. So, YAML, exactly. So now, let us start by defining a, a command that explains what we are going to be uh, doing. So we want to post an update to Twitter with the weather, right? So, yes, okay, it's already understand the function we want to define. So here, let's look at the suggestion we have from Copilot. It is going to load a Twitter config and it's already going to load the weather from a YAML file. So that's not exactly what we want. Let's, let's, keep, let's keep typing. So we want to indeed load the config file. Uh, yeah, config file. Um, yeah, it might be name config. And now we need to set up the Twitter client. And Copilot is also understanding that this is a not regular flow of a typical function to post on Twitter. So we are logging in and sending the information and our client is all set up now. So next we need to get the weather. And Copilot already knows that. So this is not exactly the weather we want. This is assuming that it's coming from another function that we have not defined. So let's just try to curl from a, a weather forecasting website. And yeah, weather.com is good. And this is New York state, so that, that's good enough. The, the location is not really relevant uh, for what we're trying to do. And now we need to, <clears throat> We need to get the current condition from that forecast. So get the current conditions. 
Okay, so that's that seems reasonable. Let's set this this suggestions. So now we also need to extract the for, the forecast. I get the forecast, and as you can see, I'm using a lot of uh, of comments because that's the way I, I like to do that. Uh, I, I like to interact with Copilot, especially when I'm not proficient with the language. Uh, an experienced developer might use it slightly differently and start to type uh, the code directly, and Copilot will also will also be able to to provide su contextual suggestions to the developer. So now we have the current condition and the, the forecast, so it's time to build a tweet. Oops, tweet. And it's a simple concatenation of, of this information, so that's good enough. And now we, <clears throat> we need to post the tweet. And that's all. And as you can see, I, I've wrote very little code here and I've quickly been able to, to implement a function in, in Ruby to, to post the weather on, on Twitter. But there, there is more interesting, more advanced use cases that we will uh, jump in right away. So let's say we want to build a React app in TypeScript. I am not, uh, again, once that's another case where I'm not also an expert in, I'm not a React developer. So for this example, we are going to try to build a small to-do list app uh, where we can simply add an action to do an action to a task to complete or remove it and mark it as complete and, and that's it. So we'll start by defining our basic import. So the first import we are going to use is going to be um, use states. So yeah, we need to import this and that's the only thing we are going to need uh, as external functionalities. So now we need to create a task uh, task interface and the task will be composed of two things. It will have a title and simply a boolean to to define if it's completed or not. So let's let's type again the command. Create task interface uh, with a name and a boolean. So I want I want those to be named a title with title and a boolean. That's more like it. And Copilot is starting to implement that interface. So we have our title as a string. We, are all we have our boolean as uh, for done, and that, that's all. That's the task. That's all we need. Uh, and at this point, we can switch and start to implement the app itself. So we need to create create a function component yeah, called app. We can call it app. That's fine. And the first thing we will need is to keep a track of the states of the task in the in the app. And Copilot already suggests a comment for that. Create a state called task with a type of task array. And that's what we need. Do we need anything else? No, not for what we're trying to do. So we don't need this uh, next step. So now, what function will we need? Uh, we need a few functions. We need to be able to add a task, to remove a task, and mark a task as, task as complete. And that's about it. So let, let's let's comment this out. Uh, create a function to add a task with yes, we want to do it with a title. Uh, we could do it with a, an ID, an index in the array, but I prefer to work with the title for this for this demo. So we have Copilot starting to suggest the implementation of the function, and let's see what Copilot is suggesting. So it creates a new task, and you can see that by default, Copilot is suggesting to set it to false, which is great. The task is not completed when you create it, and then it simply adds it to the to the array. So that's perfect. That's what we need. Now we need the function to remove the task. And one other thing, I want to insist on the fact that it's about pattern. It helps on pattern completion, and you can see that a task with a title of type screen. And that's a small detail, but that's quite important uh, in the sense that Copilot understood that the signature of the function we are implementing in this file I, um, are using a title and string as a, as a main signature. So let's do this. Remove task. Perfect. And again, pay, pay attention to how much code I am writing. And here this function is simply filtering out the 
the task uh, with the title from the list of tasks. So that's that's good enough for for use case today. Uh, and now we simply need to switch the task if it's completed or not. So create a function to get a task with a title of type screen. Yes. And again, we are going with an access pattern with a, uh, with a function signature using the title as input. So to get a task, perfect. And what is Copilot telling us here? Set the task uh, to state map to, to get the task with the title. And it's switching the, the status of the done uh, value. So that's also what we need. All right. Uh, do we need any other function right now? No. We Now we are good with the functionality we want to implement. So we can, we can return the GSX uh, directly now. So return the GSX. And we'll build the GSX uh, now. So OK, we are building a div called app and a title to-do list. Great. So now let's specify what how we want this to behave. We want to create a list of tasks, and each task is a button that toggles. And when you click on the button, you want to be able to mark the task as completed or not. And we might want to strike through the tasks that are completed. So let's write this as a, as a comment. Uh, create a list of tasks of tasks. Each task is a button that triggers the task when click. Yes, but we also need to specify that uh, we want to display the completed task with a with a line through them. Yes, exactly. So now we can see what Copilot is understanding from that comment and how it's completing it. All right, so we are starting to list all of our tasks. And we are adding the button to toggle the task as well and to remove the task. And we can see that it picked up um, here that you, we want the tasks that are done to be struck through. OK, so now we have our list of tasks, and we finished all this. So we need to be able, we, we have another section in our app that we need to have implement. Uh, we need to be able to add a task. Right now, we are just listing tasks, but we have no way of adding those tasks. So Copilot also picked up on that because we defined an add function previously that hasn't been used yet. So Copilot is picking up on that and suggesting to create a form to add the task. So let's um, let's accept this comment and see where where how this is going. So we create our form to submit the task, and here it's implementing the function at task in the form. Perfect. And now it's going to implement the input. There we go. We have our input field, and we have our button to submit the task. And at the end of the form, at the end of our div, and that's at the return of the GSX. We have our to-do list from the page we had earlier. I can add the task and it's updating. I can remove the task. It's working as well. And the strike through is not working exactly as expected. I just wanted to illustrate how, how quickly I've been able to implement a React app uh, using mostly comments and specifying the behavior I was looking for so that Copilot could implement it uh, with me, not for me, but with me. And it's very important for developers, I think, to keep looking at what code Copilot is suggesting and, and having a critical eye on it. Um, because Copilot is a copilot. You are the pilot in the in the development. That's very important to us. So that's what I wanted to show you today. I wanted to walk you through a different way of using Copilot for various development tasks. So we did some JavaScript, we did some Ruby, and we and implemented a full React app that's functional. Uh, I hope this was useful, and thank you for your time.